All right, guys, back at it again. This time, one of the things we have not posted is a high-low test on the SFK, I mean, the EVE LF304s. Now, uh, before I begin, there are some changes that you should know about, okay? So, we have been selling the 304 with these terminals, and for the most part, they work fine. But, as we've been seeing, some people are actually pushing these cells up in the 1C range, and... Terminals like this, 200 amps is really about the most you'd want to go with. You really should not be uh, going over more than that. So in our next batch of cells, they will be using the SFK terminal. As you can see, it is a much larger terminal. It has a pressed-in steel bolt and a large aluminum base. Uh, so you can mount your things on there, but you have a much larger base. And that's how our future cells are going to be. Uh, eventually, Eve may come out with their official adapter 304. And when that comes up, we'll carry both. And depending on what people prefer, we'll switch to, to that. But I think you're going to like this. It's low profile. It works. It's a single bolt, so it connects very easy. Also, plenty of room so that we can attach the alligator clip. And it's got our insignia on there. So you're going to be know it's going to be from us. Uh, we've made some changes to the label. So the original label is here. It had the information here. Uh, the new label also includes the watt hour test. Now, most people that are testing this, if they have a tester that can measure watt hours, they're going to pretty much get very close to this, a lot closer to this than the amp hour. And the reason for that is their nominal voltage in their amp hour test is usually like 3.2, 3.24, maybe 3.25. So that's higher. So if you want to match the capacity, just remember, take whatever watt hours you measured at divided by 3.2 and it should be close to that because that is how the manufacturer measured uh, measured that. Anyway, uh, we have labeled it V2. I don't know if I'm going to keep that on there. Eve has kind of made some changes. We'll discuss that later. That may or may not be there, but that's a little bit about the label. Oh, one last thing. You know, it's no longer in color. The original ones were a nice color label, but turns out most people really could care less. So we're just going with a standard black and white label. Anyway, on to the tests. So we are reading 3.425, which is pretty much a, you know, freshly charged cell. It's been sitting for a little while, so it's dropped down to 3.25. So as usual, we'll start with a basic 100-watt test. And we're holding 3.4, 30 amps. So, yeah, of course, that's going to be fine. Let's go to 200 watts. 58 amps, 3.39. So, again, pretty good. I think these big terminals are going to handle larger loads a little better. Okay? Anyway, let's start jumping up. Let's go to 400 watts, single battery. 118 amp hours, and yeah, terminals are good. Everything is fine. Holding 3.35, pretty good. All right, starting to get into big, some big numbers. 600 watt load, 180 amp hours, holding 3.32. Not bad. Okay, let's start getting into really the upper range we're just going to go to 400 this is usually when it starts maxing out our load so oh wow uh 3.3 volts 227 amps that's pretty darn impressive yeah this uh these 300h uh, uh lf304s man they're they're no joke they hold voltage really well that's 750 watts i think we can go all the way up to 800 watts and still keep it at 3.25 so 800 watts off of a single prismatic cell with our large SFK style terminal. Let's see what we get. 244. Okay, that's officially the most powerful cell that we've ever tested. It is holding 3.26 volts, drawing 245 amps at a constant 800 watts. Yeah, I think this with these, our terminals, is going to be, if you like pushing huge amps... This is the way that's going to be, uh, which probably means we might end up having a sale on these. Um, but yeah, so there you go. 246 amps, still holding 3.24 uh, volts. Probably the most powerful cell that we've ever tested on our system. Because usually 
we can't get more than 750 watt hour, uh, watts uh, before amping out. So I'm going to go ahead and end, uh, end that. And yeah, you can see it pretty much snaps right back. So yeah, there you go. Um, LF304, this one was made October 27, 2022. And I think the next batch we're going to be getting is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, probably made in April. I mean, oh, I'm sorry, uh, late March. Okay, so there it is. LF304 high amp test. See you guys later.